Hey, third grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. I just wanted to touch base with you guys this week um, to let you know that I'm gonna give you one more um, week to finish up all the details of your snowman in perspective project, okay? So last week I talked to you guys about creating um, uh, dark and light values so that you could give your snowman's bodies form um, so that they would look more three-dimensional. Uh, we also talked about adding background details in how if you're going to add something like snow that the smallest um, snowflakes would be in the middle and then they would get larger as they go out. Um, we also talked about adding, I'm going to flip this around, we also talked about if you wanted to add trees or other details the widest part had to be um, at closest to you and then it got smaller and smaller as it went away from you. Um, another thing that came up this week was um, friends were using colored pencils to color in the background um, and I want you to try to think about this background as the sky, what you see as you're looking up. So you can't just leave it white because the sky is not always completely white. Um, but one of the things that came up, and I'm gonna pull this example out here, was when friends were coloring in their background, they were going kind of fast. So they might have just been going like this. And so what happens is, is you see a lot of the pencil lines and it looks like this. And so what I was kind of demonstrating for people was that if you go back and you're, care you're more careful with how you're coloring, if you aren't going back and forth as quickly, but if you're just kind of making more of a circular motion, you're kind of able to blend your uh, shading a lot better and it looks a lot cooler and neater. Um, another thing that you can do is you can layer colored pencils and kind of blend them together, which is kind of a cool feature. But I want you, as you're filling in your backgrounds, take your time and kind of, it's sort of like a, a round and round, sort of using the edge of your colored pencil, and it will really, see how I'm now going back and I'm kind of smoothing that. Um, it will really help your your um, your picture to look a lot better. Another thing is is that if you haven't decided on a background, um, think about something that's not as um, traditional. It could be a nighttime background. Um, it could be a snowy background. It could be a sunny background. Um, it could be a sunset. Um, I think I showed you guys last week, but this was another example that I was showing a student where the sun is setting here but the colors of that sunset can be radiating around um, all of the edges of the picture so if you have any questions let me know um, so I hope this little bit of extra time will allow you guys to finish up your work so that you have a finished product that looks pretty awesome and I'll look forward to checking in with you on Friday have a great week